What is up guys? That sun is very bright this morning. I just pulled up to this job that uh, we got all fit up. As you've seen in last week's video, if you haven't, go check it out. I've started welding it out this week. Got this corner welded out. Well, that corner over there. I gotta fix this end right here, but all that's welded out. Caps are sanded down. So those are sanded down. These ain't sanded down, but I tried something a little different, but I think we're still gonna sand them down. I usually weld my caps with 532, but I put some 1 8 on there, trying to just make it pretty, but I don't know. I still kinda like the smooth a lot better. But uh, anyway, got, what, 90, 90 feet welded out, technically. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, yeah, 90, 90 or 100 feet welded out so far so anyway I don't know if I'm gonna start with that corner and fix it or start welding out over here I might fix that corner and then start welding out over here but uh for those of you who do not know my name is Austin Ross I've been a pipeline welder for about seven or eight years here recently I've been welding on fence so if those are videos that you're interested in make sure and subscribe and ring the bell to get notified when I post a new video every Friday I'm gonna take you all down here and see what uh the fit up looks like before we start welding it out most of them are real good every once in a while with this style you'll have like a big gap up here but I mean it's just you know like a little bitty but I mean you got this new pipe that's you know decently thick you know about a quarter inch thick or so same with this so I mean you got something to put the heat to what I do is just I just drag and I put essentially a bead in there like you can see I didn't cap these so this side is capped it's not brushed off but <clears throat> and then this is just filled in I just I fill the gap I go around and I fill the gap and then I brush it off I do that to like two or three sections depending on how far my leads will reach on both sides and then I brush it off and I put a cap on it that way it's nice and pretty like all these are capped out but not brushed off yet so Anyway, that's what I do. I use uh, 532-8010, and here's some that are brushed off down here. So yeah, I don't know. I just think it looks neater. Like yeah, if the fit is good, you can whip some. You know, you can whip something on there. It looks good. But if you got a spot where there's a little gap, and it doesn't look good, so to make it all more fluent, I just put, I just fill the fill the gap or whatever. I just put a a pass around it to like fill it and then I put a cap on it that way it's all consistent looking you know that way you don't have like one spot of your weld that looks good and then like another part of it that doesn't look good where you're trying to fill a gap you know it's just more consistent and looks nicer this way in my opinion so anyway time to get to work enough chatter let's sling some splatter <laughs> That was so corny. So corny. that corner all done cleaned up now it's like finished that was the only gap when Mitchell was here the other day he worked on the main driveway and got those posts all looking right because uh, long story short the driveway wasn't level so getting the gates to, to hang level and look good and everything trying to find the happy medium you know what I mean so he got that all right the other day and tied in that far end so now there's pipes in every section. Just need gates welded out and need gates. So anyway, I'm backing up to my next section here. And I'm gonna keep on a welding. Welling. There it is. Umbrella beat me here. It's a good umbrella. Oh yeah. And then we weld some more. Whew, 
It is one warm day here in Oklahoma. Toasty. Good working weather. Yes, that is a strap that you see pulling that post over. We look down it, there's one post that's kind of out, and uh, me and Mitchell talked about it, and we said we'll just try to pull it over whenever we get to it. So that's what I did. I, I pulled it over and uh, welded, welded everything up, put that first pass in on everything on either side of it, that way it holds. And then I can probably take it off, probably take the strap off right after lunch. It's probably good. I've got four sections with the first pass in it. So I've got four sections to essentially cap out after lunch, 40 feet of uh, pipe to weld out. And that'll be a total of 70 linear foot today. Of course, I did have to tack those in this morning and buff all that paint off and move them wires. I've been getting 80 feet uh, roughly, usually four sections in the morning, four sections in the afternoon. Starting at 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning, leaving 4.30, 5 o'clock, 30 minute lunch. That's what I'm doing right now, taking a little lunch. Did I already say that? Anyway, uh, roughly 80 feet a day welding out the way I weld it out, you know. Um, not counting, well like today I haven't welded any caps on. The other day I was welding caps on, so I could probably get the caps too, but uh, not sanded down, not sanding the caps down. Give you an idea of how long it takes to weld this stuff out. But anyway, making progress, looking good. I like it. I might, I haven't decided, I might buff off the welds because I haven't been buffing them off because we're going to come through and buff everything off, buff all the BBs off, sand all the caps down nice and smooth and I figured we could do that then but I don't know. I think it looks more complete whenever the welds are buffed off so like it's fixing to be the weekend. Today's Friday so she won't have to look at slag. Not that, not that it's that big a deal but I don't know. It just makes me feel more complete and nice that way so. I might, depending on, depending on the time today, so. Anyway, that is, that is how it's going, so. We weld, and then we weld some more. We weld, and then we weld some more. We weld, we buff, we weld some more. Weld and buff, weld and buff, weld and buff. It reminds me of being on the old fire line, out on the pipeline, or on a tie-in, or on a heavy wall, heavy wall pipe, is what this kind of reminds me of. What I mean by that is just constantly welding up and down, up and down, constantly welding, constantly welding. It's so one thing that's good about pipeline work is uh, the repetitiveness on burning, you know, burning rod like it's, and it has to be quality. So it's, it's just that repetitive uh, muscle. Like I've noticed that it helps me weld on fence and helps me be more consistent with it, making, trying to make everything look consistent, you know, um, like I talked about this morning. But pipe fence, it's also good practice to weld on pipeline, but it's kind of funny how it like helps no matter what you do, as long as you're getting experience, it helps helps one another out. Um, so yeah, that's pretty neat. It's one thing I've noticed. I like it. I like it. And the more experience, the more years you do it, the more fluent in your movements that you get, you know, with with welding out, you know. Not to mention everything you learn about your puddle whenever you're welding, trying to fill a little gap or something, you know. So. But anyway, that is what's going on. I am going to start offering pipe fence work in the local area, in the Stillwater Central Oklahoma area. If you or anybody knows of anybody needing entryway or pipe fence, pipe, pipe and cable, anything like that, feel free to email me or send them my email and uh, we'll get in touch with them. Won't be just me though, it won't be a one man band. I plan on having a guy help me and then plan on getting a piece of equipment. That way I can actually build something. So that is my goal. That is that is the goal. No, I'm not done pipelining necessarily, but I may be done for a couple of years, you know? I mean, I'm still welding. I just would like to build a business at home that, you know, can kind of run on its own a little bit at least, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's my goal. So I reckon it's time to get back out there and get to welling. Well, and I am using my Wins lens to weld out Pancake, Empire South Pancake, with the Wins lens, the ultra cool blue Wins lens. I like using Pancake and the fixed lens because I like the color of that cool blue whenever I'm just welding out. So, and you can actually see, like, especially on a sunny day today, I forget what shade that is, shade nine. I'd have to go watch my lens video to see, I forget, but anyway. Um, it's bright enough outside you can see even the buff and everything so it's it works out good I just like it because it's it's a nice 
nice color and all I'm doing is welding so I like pancake so I don't get that backlight from the sunshine so anyway let's get back to welding welling 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 first things first you gotta get suited up boy I love these knee pads these are CLC brand I don't know I got them at Stillwater Steel Stillwater Oklahoma shop where I used to work I got welding supplies and I really like them they're only like 23 24 dollars and I like them because this ledge up here stays on top of your knee so they don't fall down so these ain't got to be extremely tight so I really like them really really like them first things first got to start the machine <laughs> Time to go to the house. Just buffed all these welds off. Here we go, starting right here. Eee, ooh, and all the way. Buffed all the way. Not all the way to the corner, not all the way to my truck, but whew, a few uh, rails down. So that is going to be it for this video. Um, to head to the steel supply, still water steel. And uh, get some welding rod, get some 8010. Man, it just feels good to have it all buffed off and clean, doesn't it? If only these caps were sanded down. But anyway, just having the welds all buffed off just makes it feel complete, nice, neat. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Good job, well done, fellas. Good job, good job, team. Good, good job, SAE 300. You've done me good today. Woo -woo. Anyway, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you all for coming along with me. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If I can help you in any way, let me know. Uh, we'll see you all next Friday. And remember, learn something every day.